Hey guys. So I'm not going to record a full session now because I don't have a t don't have time to do a full session. I remember last time after playing the game last time, just after playing it, that I didn't pay attention to uh, what the book narrator said about the club and how it can <laughs> lightning's on fire. So uh, that means we uh, summon that witch because we actually got to go back and light that whole what is it a pyre that you have to light to get the flame lit on it so they get so she can appear so we're gonna go, we're gonna go back and do that so we can get all that so we can get the chalice and get all those goodies too so we're gonna replay the stage again cemetery hill so we're just gonna do that because I want to make sure I get the chalice and then after that, maybe we'll take a look at what the next stage is. So we're not going to do a full session right now because I don't have the time, but uh, I want to make sure I don't forget to actually go back and get that chalice. Because it will suck if I got all the way to the end and I forgot it and I never went back for it. Plus you've got other things too. I think you've got a talisman you've got a whole bunch of things there. Health. I think you got one of those uh, one of those cups that brings you back in case you die. So uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go back and do that. So Can we skip this? Yeah, we can. Okay. So let's just go kill these guys as quickly as possible. You don't really have to worry about health or anything because I'm... I'm just trying to fill up the chalice. Hey, we got a trophy. Dizzy Decimator. I guess we got that if you uh Guess we got that if uh No, we don't want to talk to the gargoyle now, Are you kidding me? Screw that guy, we don't want to talk to him. So we're almost at 40, so... I don't think we can fill it up here. I think we need to go and kill some enemies outside. Yeah, we're at 50%, so we need, we need a few more. Let's just go back and get those. And then we're just gonna climb up the hilltop and get all the way... to the... get all the way up there. Also, I'm gonna destroy... One thing I noticed last time during my playthrough is... We didn't get a single trophy at all. So, uh, we just got one here, but, uh... There, is, there actually is a trophy for destroying, I think, uh... Destroying, uh... A hundred tombstones, I think, you gotta get... It's called such disrespect. Fortescue doesn't really care about anyone but himself. Alright, so we got a magic vial. I wonder if they count. I wonder if it counts like a... Uh... Wait a second, are we full on... Uh... Enemies, do we need more? I think we're full, right? I think... Yeah, I think we got all the ones we needed to get, right? God damn, stupid lava ball. Molten rock, whatever the hell that thing is. Damn, look at that nice... Look at that nice leap there. He completely bypassed the... Orange rock. But he didn't get that one. God damn it. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Fortescue, you're screwing up here. Try to get rid of those damn uh, rocks just so we can so we can bypass all this crap and actually finish up the stage. 
Oh, we're almost there. We almost got it. We have failed them. We made it. Alright, so we're not going there yet because obviously we don't want to do that. We just want to finish up the stage. So uh, let's get our health back. Let's kick this thing over so we can get a trophy. Yeah, oh, bring gold. Would... Oh, forget that. We don't want to. I don't really care about unexplored paths right now. Alright, so there is some gold. There we go, got ourselves a brand new trophy. If we can jump from over here. Yeah, we can. Oh god damn, we used up the goddamn light bulb. Oh, sh shit. I wanted to save that. Okay, so maybe if we kill, I think it's the last two guys over here, maybe that'll fill up the chalice meter. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing over here. But we gotta, gotta switch to the club, light that on fire. There we go, now we can summon that witch. Hopefully she'll release the gates open here, because there's one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty of them. There we go. Let's kill. prevented ourselves from uh, using the the last uh, life bottle because that sucked now we don't have any now we don't have any at all crap well I screwed that up all right so I think we got all the tombstones here I should light the club on fire just in case but no I think I think we're gonna leave it I don't think there's any other enemies in here either I think it's just uh, I think it's just a matter of climbing up to the top now. We got the chalice already. So that's done and taken care of. Yeah, so basically, unless you get the chalice, you can't enter the Hall of Heroes, which means you can't upgrade your uh, weapons. So you're stuck using the same crap you started with over and over again. I wish that could fill up your life bottle too, but it doesn't do anything. Alright, so let's go over to the Hall of Heroes then. I think we, oh, I think we get the broadsword now. That'll be good. Cause that sword is crap. That puny little sword doesn't do anything. Here we go. Back from the battle so soon? It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. Man, shut the hell up. He got back so soon because he kicked ass and killed everyone. Come on. 
reminds me of Yoda when he says, uh, only then a Jedi will you be. There's always some trial, isn't it? It's not enough to actually go out help our, helping out everyone and killing all the monsters and enemies and stuff that are threatening the Ask some greater trial before you're considered a hero. Man, screw that. Now wait a second, we got the second chalice. It's right there. I mean, do we still have to talk to this guy again? I thought we were gonna, I thought we were gonna get the broadsword. What the hell? No, we already spoke to this guy, so why... Why can't we move forward? There's Fortescue. So there's a hammer. Oh, come on. Don't tell me we can't upgrade anything. Are you kidding me? I guess not. I guess we can't actually do anything because, uh, yeah, we already, we already talked to that guy. Hurrah! Oh. I knew it would take more than the army of the evil. Also, oh, you do get to upgrade it. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. Oh, we got a life bottle. Cool. Yeah. Also, we got three of them now. That's awesome. Okay, so it didn't... wasn't that big of a help, but it did help us out a bit. So, uh, yeah, let's go... Let's go back and explore... the second stage. Alright, so I guess that was well... I guess it was well worth the effort. We didn't really accomplish that much, but... It did get us one extra life bottle, which... We're gonna try our best not to do, because, uh... Because obviously the, more, the less of them you have, the, the less of them you have for the bosses, so, uh... Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is the glass demon. Let's see if he can, uh... Let's see what... It, well, first of all, let's see what the stage is, because, uh... If it's too long, we're just gonna continue it next time, so, uh... You are entering a house of pain. Rumors abound of evil doings in the secret catacombs below this very hall. Yeah, we ain't scared of no evil doings. Really? Oh, those are the imps, aren't they? That's what they're called, imps. Yeah, you run, you better run, fool. Damn, he just tossed him all the way back to his uh, crypt there. Okay, so these guys aren't too bad. Like, they don't really do much damage at all, so... Let's check out the entry for them. Witch Talisman, the perfect gift for that special, that special, special witchy someone. Oh, here they come. Here they are, imps. Back in King Peregrine's day, imps were often kept as household servants. Sadly, those were cruel times, and many imps were treated very poorly by the masters. Really, it was no surprise when these cunning little creatures formed a secret alliance with Xerox. On the morning of the Battle of Galamir, every last one of King Peregrine's men awoke to find his house imp gone, and along with them, every last undergarment in the kingdom. Never before had an army's charge been so devastatingly broken before battle had even begun. So basically, they, they deserved it then. They were basically like the house slaves in uh, Harry Potter, like the house elves. Is that, is that what they're called? That they're basically slaves? Yeah, Harry Potter ain't all fun and magic for children. There's some dark stuff in there. They kind of remind me of... Uh, Little Chihuahuas are uh, mixed with bats. That's what they, the house is. That's one weak sissy army, you know. Really, you can't fight without underwear? Like, come on. You ever see Braveheart? I know it's not historically accurate at all, but uh, William Wallace and his men fought. They fought commando there. Like, they fought without underwear. All they had was just kills. Like I said, I know it's not accurate, but hey, they did it anyway, so uh.
Why can't these guys do it? Or is it that you can't put on a uh, plate armor without any underwear on? I guess we gotta club these things. And that doesn't do anything. Huh. How do we get inside there? Do we actually have to club these things? Oh, there we are. So I'm guessing one of these has a secret passageway then. Oh, it's probably that one where the light is. But we found an energy vial, so... Got a health back up. There we go. Oh, are we gonna fight the boss now? These thieves will strip you down to your armored undies. Rumor has it they fence their stolen wares with the merchant gargoyles. So that's where the gargoyles get his um their weapons from. These guys still afford them. Oh that sucks, so basically if you don't Basically if you don't get your weapon back, you gotta go buy it from the you gotta go buy it from the gargoyles. Come on, that sucks. On, you little gizmo ripoffs. Yeah, you ain't stealing my sword, bitch. Oh, damn, look at those spikes. That does not look good. What about this one? Oh, there was still one more in here. Got him. Damn, so it's just all around bad paths everywhere. Damn. Kill those things? Oh yeah, we can. Okay, so we need the earth room for that. Look at that, they're just waiting on the other side. So anything that was there is no longer there anymore. Oh, that, that sucks. Okay, so we got the earth room, but we're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna go over here. I might do the stage over again just because I want to see what was over there. Okay, so we need the moon. Yeah, I didn't, didn't, really, didn't really get a good chance to look at it. Was there a treasure chest there or not? I know there was something there besides the imps, but the whole, the whole floor started collapsing, so... The forest key went down with it, with it so... Uh... Really? There we go. Damn, that one, that one actually took our sword. That little bastard. We sure showed him, right? We killed him. Let's get our bow. Oh damn, Fortescue's on fire. The stained glass demon is the master of the mausoleum. His wretched soul lies preserved inside a frozen glass heart. 
shrouded in a veil of darkness beneath the mausoleum, you will find this pre-frozen nemesis. This is really reminding me of the Soul Reaver I am. Dumas Castle. This, this clan territory, whatever the hell it was. Uh, yeah, it really looks the same. Okay, so we need a chaos room. So, uh... Oh, hell. Here comes some more of them. Screw you guys. Oh, really? Alright, we're not playing with these guys. Damn, that one took some real hits from the club. Oh, there's the chaos room, and I'm guessing the boss fight is gonna start us as soon as we touch that. I oh, know we're good, we're fine. Too bad our shield's kind of one. Alright, so let's go plant the. No, wait, we didn't get the chaos room, right? No, we got the we got the moon one. Okay, so we gotta go back. Damn, we gotta go all the way back here again. Down this whole hellhole path. Hey, wait a second, I wonder if that one's half full. I wonder if we stay up there, if we can, uh. Yeah, you know what? Let's go fill this up. Let's go fill it up. Simply because, uh. I have a feeling the boss fight's gonna be the one for that chaos room. So, yeah, let's fill up those three bottles. Okay, now we can go over here. Thinking, uh, I don't know, should I... Should I replace the club or not? I think I'm gonna replace it with the crossbow. No, we don't wanna... Set... Let's see. Make this the primary weapon. No, what the hell? There we go. So I'm thinking that might be more useful against the boss if we gotta keep our distance, so uh... Yeah, we're not gonna use a club yet, we're gonna uh... We're gonna stick with uh... Hey, we almost filled the chalice too. Okay, so where do we go now? Cause we got some sheep music, but uh, what can we actually do with that? There's nothing over here, right? So we still don't have the chaos room. So got some sheet music, but where can we take that to? Maybe over here? I forgot to say earlier that uh, the demons on the stained glass windows outside kind of look like the demons from, uh, from Blood Omen. Reminds me of the fire demons, you know, those ones that Vortex in from the other dimension, they just throw fire everywhere. Oh, here we go. Wait a second, what, what do we have? Sheet music. So we can't use that there. Where can we use it then? Oh, here's... Oh, over here, here's a door. I completely missed that. Man, look at that ghost plane right there. That's awesome. Oh, 
Mr. Organ. The imps of the hilltop mausoleum grew tired of the Phantom's incessant practice sessions and hid his sheet music away. Like most impish plans, this one backfired. The Phantom continues to bang the keys, but sorely lacks improvisational skills. Hey, we got the Chaos Room. We don't need no damn merchant gargoyle right now, are you kidding me? Got an energy vial. Which you probably shouldn't have taken, but whatever. Let's use the sheet music. Ah, oh, damn, look at all that booty. Got loads of treasure. There's a vial which we're not gonna take because I think we might need that. Uh... I think we're gonna come back. Just in case, we're gonna leave. If we find another bottle that we can load up with, um, we found another bottle that we can load up with our juice, then we're gonna co come back and get that. I think what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is, I don't, if I don't beat the boss here during this session, I'm just gonna come back and then I'll just start right up, right at the very point where we left off. You know, so I won't, I won't waste your time uh, showing the stage again. Instead, I'll just uh, start right where we left off. Alright, we got a, got a new copper shield. Got throwing daggers. Okay, so we gotta break that up. Here we go. Yeah, this is definitely like Soul Reaper pushing the burning wood to tear down the bridge. Make the bridge pop up. There he is, stained glass demon. It's kind of psychedelic, like a rainbow or like a lava lamp, I think. All right, so we don't have another bottle, so that means we're just gonna risk it. We're just gonna take him on right now. We got three. I mean, that should be enough. Yeah, I'm gonna try first the long range ones. Let's see how how well that does against him. Nothing though, 
he's finished. We didn't even use most of our health. We only used one bottle, that's because we screwed up on that one attack. Here we go, he's dead. Awesome, we got him. We got him, boys. Die, you crystal gremlin ripoff. A painful demise. Oh, that's. That pun is painful right there. Guys. Jesus, sounds like something Barry would say in a Resident Evil. Alright, so let's take a look at his entry. If we can find one? Really? Oh, we gotta go collect the chalice too, but where is it? Actually, seeing any uh, new entry for the for the enemies. Oh, bosses! Oh, here we go. Let's let's look at that stained glass demon. I always thought it was a bad idea when they put a demon on their stained glass window. Isn't that a little odd for a holy place? I said. What if a passing sorcerer brings it to life using arcane magic? I said. But did they listen? Yes, he might have a glass jaw, but if you think shattering his dark heart is going to be easy, oh, you'd better think again. Who are you anyway? Like seriously, who was she in life? I'm not gonna touch that right now because I, I think we need... What happened with the chalice? Like did we even find out where that was? Oh yeah, I think it's the other door, right? I don't want to touch the key yet because I have a feeling that's going to finish out the stage, so uh... I don't want to touch that yet. Where to go? Where was the chalice? Oh, there it is. Damn, we need that uh, one... Crap. We need one more enemy. I could have sworn that the boss would have filled it, but uh, I guess not. Alright, so I found the skull key, but uh... Is there any other place we can go? Are there any other imps we can kill here? Oh, there it is! Damn, why did it take, why did it take so long to load? What the hell? Seriously, because you saw it, we couldn't actually touch it and now it went back to 100. So like, what, did we, accept, did we just have to trigger the... Uh, Loading screen, I guess, by going to one of the other paths. Oh well, so we can not collect that and get the hell out of here. There we go. We got the chalice, and let's fill up our bottle here. There we go. We found the energy bio. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It was actually a pretty easy boss. Once you figured out that we just had to strike at his heart, and I'm glad I switched to the crossbow because uh. That would have been hell trying to hit him with club. I think the daggers could have worked too, but I think the crossbow does a bit more damage. I assume, because I think I think the dagger is the weakest of the weapons, isn't it? Right after the regular sword, so uh Okay. I wonder how much harder he would have been if we if we um I wonder how much harder it would have been if we um if we used a helmet. we go the masters finished oh we get to go to the hall of heroes again it's oh, here's the this hall guy of again heroes shopping mall bargain hunters should check out the ground floor well to do shoppers should check out the upper floor that's where it's at. Did they even have shopping malls in uh, medieval times? I think they're called bazaars, aren't they? All right, so this is where we left. This is where we leave leave it for now because uh, we got the boss, we beat him. We're already at the Hall of Heroes, so I think we're gonna get whatever this is next time, whether it's another weapon or. Uh,
Well, you know what? Let's just do it right now. Might as well just let's see the next stage. Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that Archcad Zarok still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny's zombies are a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old stand your iron cure, eh? He said, "Yeah." He didn't actually say no, guy. But yeah, we got the got the the dwarven dwarfish hammer now. Is it dwarven dwarfish? Whatever. It's made by a dwarf. But yeah, we got the got the big old Thor's hammer now. Now we can really smash some zombies up. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Leave the Hall of Heroes. Yes. Let's see what the next the next stage is. Um, Okay, so now we gotta go. Um, we gotta go open up the door in the cemetery, or the graveyard, rather, to get to the other place. So uh, we'll leave that for next time. Uh, next time we'll tackle. Looks like we got two new stages, so we'll take a look at that next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time on Medieval PS4.